Hello, I'd like to take a little bit of time to explain how I use Kahoot in my ESL classrooms. Kahoot is a great website. It allows you to create quizzes for your students based on content that you may have taught in the classroom. Also, it allows you to select from a lot of different types of quizzes that other people have created. The web page is simply kahoot.com and from there you have your options to explore games, play, log in, or sign up. I'm going to show you how I've created some of my quizzes and go to the login. From the login, it will save your information through Gmail. So once you've done that, you can log in anytime. This is what you see as an administrator, someone who's creating your quizzes and some of the things you can choose from. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the cahoots I have created. These are all cahoots that I have used in my classrooms. One of them is a little bit about our school. This is a quiz that I have uploaded pictures and created multiple choice questions for students to select from and they will learn a little bit about the school that they are in. At present, I have over 80 quizzes I have either created or if you find something you like that someone else has created, you can duplicate it and add it to your cahoots. My username on here is enelsonmj, so if you are looking for a a Kahoot, you can always type in my name in a search bar at any point on the page and you can use it. The way I got to my Kahoots is I created them. Kahoot has changed some in the last few years from allowing a paid option to allowing a different variety of quizzes you can now create for your students. Pretty much all I use with my ESL students is the quiz format, which creates a multiple choice question. But there is also a jumble, discussion, or survey option. I'm going to show you today how I create a quiz. I'm going to click on a quiz. And I was practicing one of these before, but we're just going to start from the beginning. And I'm going to call it test. And then for description, I'll do test of Kahoot. Now from here I have, do I want it to be visible to everyone? In this case, yes. I'm going to use English. I'm going to select my audience, which is going to be for a school. I'm going to click that. If you use resources, you want to make sure you give credit to what you've used. And you can also always upload an intro video so the students will not see a static image when they start a quiz. Over here I have an option of cover images. I can upload my own image, I can select and search from a Getty image library, or I can drag and drop the image. I'm going to show you how I would just simply search. From here there are royalty free images, so here's an avocado, we'll just pick that, and then we'll go from there. So that will be what my students will see when they log on to my test quiz. Now we go to the part where we add questions. Here you would have the question about what you're assessing. So in this case, how to Kahoot. Okay. And then I would select my different answers, I would pick one of them to be correct by clicking on this button and or you can pick more than one to be correct and go from there. Kahoot does score responses in a way so if you have younger students you may want to turn that whole option off so that no one starts saying I'm beating you by clicking the no to award points. In most cases I leave it on and it's seems to be mostly good-natured competition. Here again I have my options for what image I want to select, how I would upload it, or a YouTube link. 
And that is really all there is to it when you're creating the questions. You would just duplicate this process repeatedly until you're finished. And we're going to stop now, and I'm going to show you how you would go about discovering other cahoots, maybe, that you would find for your class. You would click on the Discover bar, and from here you would select what you want to find a cahoot about. In this case, I'm going to say ESL. And from here, I have a bunch of options that came up. And I would see if the content is what I want to use for my class. There are endless amounts of quizzes on Kahoot. And many of them will become themed around the holidays. So right now there's a holiday calendar with traditions of Hanukkah, winter, Christmas, and literature. And that is one of the ways that I simply use Kahoots in my classroom. When you click on the Kahoot itself, it will give you a little preview. And you can see if the questions seem too hard for your students. From here, you can also copy and share a link. You can play it, you can challenge it, or you can get a little preview, share, or you can duplicate it, which would then save it onto your cahoots you already have. And once again, these are just the cahoots that I've created. So I have some duplicates on here, and a lot of my early cahoots were based on vocabulary from the treasure chest for ESL students program that we used in my school. On here I had this word means not fair or not treated equally and my, ch my choices were accept, unaware, unfair, or fair with unfair being the correct answer. So that's really all there is to creating cahoots and I hope you found this brief tutorial somewhat helpful.